All right, so the first thing that you're going to want to build on your base is going to be the multi-purpose room. Now the multi-purpose room is, you know, just as useful as it sounds, it's got multiple purposes. The main thing is the fact that it's going to be bigger than the smaller compartments. So you can put a lot more in there in terms of storage, you got your fabricators, all the other useful stuff that you're going to want to, that you're going to want in your base at the start of the game. You can also put the bigger interior modules in there, like the reactors and the alien containment, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Multipurpose room, the first thing that you're going to want on your base. The only issue or downside to the multipurpose room is it doesn't come with like the base pieces that you get automatically. So you are going to have to go out into the world and scan it for power. The main power source that you're going to want for your base at the very beginning is going to be solar panels because solar panel panels with the top of the same solar panels are super cheap to make so they're super cheap to make and they recharge during the day obviously because they're solar panels and you'll have more power the more you build and because they, they're super easy to make they're they make the most sense to build at the very start of the game so yeah multi-purpose room and solar panels to power your base the next thing that you're going to want on your base especially if you plan on building it a little bigger at the start of the game you're going to want some foundations to support your base because every time you put down a piece for your base it's going to give you negative hull integrity and the foundations give you more hull integrity so that your base doesn't start flooding but they are kind of cheap to build they're just two titanium and two lead so they're easy to build and they are super useful because it keeps your base from flooding if you make it bigger or as you add more parts to it so yeah foundations other thing that you're going to want to keep your base from flooding so pretty essential part of your base now moving on to the inside of the base the you don't really need much at the start of the game so you're probably just going to have like a little empty room like i do right now but all you really need the biggest thing is going to be the radio because the radio occasionally like as especially if you're like just starting out the radio is gonna every so often it's gonna go off like it is right now it's gonna be blinking and whenever you answer it it'll give you a beacon to different places around the map that'll contain like useful data boxes uh fragments sea bases etc so it'll direct you direct you around the game figure out where you need to go next and whatnot so the radio is super useful for exploration and whatnot the next thing you're going to want is going to be a fabricator because the fabricator i mean the life pond that you spawn in has a fabricator like automatically but obviously you don't want to have to keep running back and forth to that one too it's what you use to convert stuff into different resources advanced materials electronic build some of the deployables it gives you some of your tools and other equipment that you're going to need super essential stuff so the fabricator is one of the more important things that you can need the next thing you're going to want are going to be just a few lockers because you know obviously you're going to want some storage because you can't hold everything in your inventory because you don't have that much inventory if we're being completely honest so the lockers are going to be essential for being able to stock up a good good amount of items and resources and whatnot and the last thing you're going to want in your base at the start of the game or as a beginner is going to be a bioreactor if you didn't want to use the solar panels or you can use both but the bioreactor is also going to be a super good source of energy all throughout the game basically so whenever you put live things in there for example plants uh food what else fish it'll generate power for your base and it can generate a max of 500 at a time biofuel is actually super easy to get in, especially if you build your base in the safe shallows because the peepers actually give a lot of energy whenever you put them in there and they're super easy to find and super easy to catch and they're all over the safe shallows so they're a super easy accessible source of biofuel that you can just eat quickly slap into your bioreactor and i'll let you do right now boom unless you're gonna build like a ton of foundations to support your your base like a bunch of windows use the glass quarters or anything like that i wouldn't do that until you're like a little bit later on in the game the glass compartments as you would imagine they take a lot of hole integrity so i wouldn't build anything any glass any windows anything like that i mean unless you absolutely want to then i mean feel free but just thought you're going to be using a lot more resources when it comes to building like extra foundations so your base doesn't end up flooding all right moving on to what you're going to want on your base if you're in the middle of the game because if you're in the middle of the game you're going to be exploring more you're going to have access to more resources etc etc so the first thing we're going to be looking at is going to be the reinforcement because the reinforcement is going to give you a ton of extra hull integrity so you don't have to keep relying on the foundations so it's going to give you seven to your hull strength every hull reinforcement that you put down i said hull reinforcement what for every reinforcement you put down it'll give you seven to your base hull strength which means that you won't have to rely on foundations the entire time you're playing this game so that's also good you'll be able to move away from that if you don't like using foundations so alongside your solar panels and your bioreactor for your power source you can also start using thermal plants because as you explore the game more you're going to be um you know given access to more resources deeper areas and whatnot so the thermal plant is super good for power because it can it can actually give your base nearly infinite power 
if you put it in the right place. I have a whole video on that. But in reality, if I were to put the thermal plant somewhere, it'd probably be over like a lava geyser or like a heat zone, somewhere where the temperature is hot so it can generate a good amount of energy. If you put it right next to it like a uh, like a heat source, it'll be constantly generating power even as you use it in your base, it's like generating infinite power for your base almost. The next thing you're gonna want, to make sure that you're 100% gonna want is going to be the moon pool because as you get towards the middle and end of the game, you are gonna be building a lot more vehicles and primarily I'm looking at the prawn suit and the seamoth. To upgrade both of those vehicles, you're going to need the moon pool. First, you're gonna need the moon pool to dock and then once they're in here, you're also going to need, you're also going to need the vehicle upgrade Upgrade console, which you also need to find a data box for, unfortunately. And this is where you're going to find the vehicle fabricator, which is going to contain all your vehicle upgrades, where you're going to upgrade your vehicle. The only thing you don't use the vehicle upgrade console here for is going to be the Cyclops, because when you build your Cyclops, as you can see, there is uh, one right there. When you build your Cyclops, it has its own like little upgrade station inside of it that you'll use, so you don't need the local for that. Now going inside the base, it's going to change a little bit. So on the inside of your base, you can also build bulkheads, which are, they do the same thing as reinforcements. They'll just give your base some extra integrity, but just on the inside. And also, let's say, so I have this bulkhead built, built right here. So let's say that, you know, my whole integrity goes all the way down and this part, just this little hatch part of my base starts to flood. And with the bulkhead, if you have the bulkhead right here, this part of your base is splitting. If you close the door, then it'll keep, close the door like this, it'll keep the rest of your base from actually flooding as well, as long as no holes open anywhere else. The other important thing that you're gonna want on the inside of your base in the middle of the game is going to be the modification station, because again, you're gonna be exploring a lot more getting a lot more resources, data boxes, upgrades, etc. And the modification station is where you're going to craft some of those upgrades, like the upgrades to your fins, like the swim charge ultra glide fins. So yeah, well, modification station, super important to have. And the last two things that you're gonna want in the middle of the game is going to be the indoor grow bed and the exterior grow bed. And it'll allow you to build up a little farm. With the interior grow bed, you're gonna mainly be using that for like food and stuff. And then the exterior one is gonna be for the uh, stuff that you need to craft certain resources and whatnot. All right, so moving on to the later game is base. New addition to your power is going to be the nuclear reactor, which is one of the best power sources in the game, and it's powered by nuclear rods, and you put you can only put a total of four in at a time, but they last like a super, super long time, so you'll like rarely have to recharge it over and over again. The other thing that you should have is going to be a alien containment, because the alien containment is, is going to be like, it's, gonna, it's essentially like a fish farm, so you'll be able to put, let's say you get like a whole bunch of peepers you put them in here let's say you put two peepers in here if you put two peepers in here and you leave them in here for a little while they'll keep reproducing and reproducing and they'll just make more and more peepers which means that you'll have a endless source of biofuel just like inside of your base that you can put into your bioreactor so the other new thing you're going to want inside of your base is going to be the power cell chargers and the battery chargers because with both of these you'll be able to recharge your batteries and power cells which will cut down on the amount of resources that you're going to use when making, so you don't have to like keep making extra batteries and power cells and whatnot. You can just recharge them in your base. Now it's important that you do this towards like the middle or the late game, because if you try to do it in the early game, you're not gonna have enough power to sustain, you know, cause power cells take 200 each, I believe, to charge all the way and then batteries is 100 if you charge them from zero. So you're gonna need a lot of, maybe not a lot of, but you're just gonna need some excess power that you can spare to charge your stuff. The other thing you're gonna want is going to be the water filtration machine, which is going to allow you to make water without having to do anything basically and it also gives you some of the best water in the game because the large filtered water that comes out of these machines gives you 50 i think it's 50 tier water which is basically half your bar that's super super good so whenever you're at the very end of the game maybe not very end but you know you're in the late game and you know your base is super super well developed and whatnot you got a lot of resources to spare to build what you're going to want on your base built is going to be for power. You're going to want your thermal plants because they are going to give you a nearly infinite source of power. And you're going to want to put those next to a heat or lava geyser heat source. You're going to have your bioreactor and your alien containment because the alien containment is going to allow you to breed creatures to put in your bioreactor so you have an endless source of biofuel for your bioreactor and whatnot and then you have your nuclear reactor the nuclear reactor gives a ton of energy and you barely have to recharge it because of the reactor rods providing so much energy whenever you put them in there so that's what you're going to want for power you're going to want your exterior and interior grow beds the interior grow beds is where you're going to build or not build you're going to grow the food 
you know, you'll have like a sustainable food source that you can just keep and constantly growing. And then the exterior grow beds is where you're gonna grow stuff that you need for crafting certain materials, like the creek vine samples, uh, you know, things like that. As far as reinforcements go, you're gonna want to have your, you know, your regular, these reinforcements can take use seven when you have base level strength. But when you come in your base, you're also gonna want to have your bolt heads, if I can find it, wait a Separating water whenever your base is flooding and it also gives you some extra hole strength on the side. So those are super good, super good. You don't really need the foundations at the end because, you know, the reinforcements give so much and you can spam them on almost every wall. The only reason you would have foundations is for aesthetic purposes or to put the grow beds on or other things that you wanna put outside of your base. But other than that, you don't really need the foundations when you get to the end stages of your base because you have the reinforcements that you can use instead, which are much better. But if you want to have the foundations as like extra, then you can feel free. If you're going to 100% want to have your moon pool because the moon pool is going to allow you to upgrade your vehicles. It'll only upgrade your Seamoth and your Prawn Suit though because the, uh, the Cyclops has its own upgrade station. Multi-purpose room, obviously you're 100% going to want because that's where all the you know, bioreactors, alien containment, all that stuff is gonna go. And it also gives you a lot of room to build your stuff in. And on the inside of your base, you're gonna want your water filtration machines because they're going to provide you with a good source of water. You're gonna have your lockers for your storage, your radio, so you can, uh, you know, get occasional beacons so you can figure out where to go and whatnot. You're gonna have your fabricators so you can obviously build stuff like your tools, equipment, resources, whatnot. Your modification stations so you can build the upgraded version of some of your tools and your modules for your vehicles. And you're going to have your power cell chargers and your battery cell chargers. You will have to have the vehicle upgrade console in your moon pool, because I don't think I said that just now. Overall, that is about all you're going to want on your bases when you were, when your base is fully developed, what you're going to want on your base. So yeah, and that's all I have for y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.